Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And Shalom to the whole for let this pious Allah from the GMS London camp coming back at you again with some um, prophecy and news. So this is from USA Today. This article reads, um, six months after Hurricane Maria, life in Puerto Rico is better, but will never be normal again. Okay, so they're saying it's better, but it'll never be normal again. Basically, this this this, this region, which is an unincorporated state or territory of United the, the United so-called United States of America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the Bible, and the the, the island of Puerto Rico really is a, is according to biblical prophecy in the Book of Genesis forty nine, Deuteronomy thirty three. Basically, is a la the land which pertains to um, Joseph, or or the tribe of Ephraim, okay. So it says it never will be normal again, and and it's funny because he's a lot of Roman Catholic, mainly, with um Santa Santa, with, uh, Santa Ria, uh, witchcraft basically. But they they worship what Mother Mary and all that, and the hurricane that come there was a, the Mother Mary because of their idol worshiping. So I'm just gonna skate through this and then go go to some scriptures. So this is Toa Ota, Puerto Rico. Life is better for Michelle Rebo Rebola since Hurricane Maria up um upend her world last year. The electricity vanishes at times, often for hours, but largely. But it's largely better. And this is just damage control, man. This is coming from USA Today. As far as I know, they're still going through their shits, man. They, 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 if, if you ain't got electricity on all the time and it's going off, you know, you're in hell, man. Water flows steadily from faucets and work crews finally hauled away piles of debris left by the storm. Yet life is still far from normal. She's a month behind in her bills. Her income is unsteady. Worst of all, the jovial unity forged among her neighbours in the storm's immediate aftermath has faded to, to sullen despair. Recovery has been so slow that it's affected people, said Rebola, 45. Everyone's tense. Not, no one's talking to, any, to one another. You see it in their fast faces. They've changed. That's right on the edge, man. And this is what's coming to America, which is Babylon the Great, and it's coming to a city near you. Okay. A powerful category for Hurricane Maria ranked across the isle raked across the island September twentieth, killing at least sixty people and causing widespread damage. It was the strongest storm to hit the US territory in eighty nine years. As the six month anniversary of the storm approaches, Puerto Ricans are trudging slowly away from survival and into difficult reality of long-term recovery. Nearly 2,000 families, sorry, 200,000 families and businesses, 16% of the island remain without power, okay? So it's still going through it. They ain't got no power, all right? This is some bitch with some kind of money or some kind of standing in Puerto Rico they're talking to, but for the most part, 16% of the island's without, you know, power man the island faces a growing mental health crisis as people wrestle with their losses from the storm so these people are getting mentally mind they're getting mind this the storm has mind fucked them all right and the federal emergency management agency or fema is answering tough questions about botched contracts in this recovery effort so you know fema's up in the mix and if you know anything about fema they got um they're they're basically Prepared for martial law. So lucky, lucky. Prepared for martial law. Okay. So far, the agency has approved one one billion dollars in individual assistant grants, which goes to households, and an additional five five hundred fifty eight million in public assistant grants for things like repairs to bridges and government buildings. Walls are spinning, but things. Don't seem to get off the ground. San Juan Mayor Carmen U Yulan Cruz told the non-profit news site Democracy Now. 
Okay, for Rebello, recovery has been slow and frustrating. USA Today first met Rebello in October. As she captured water from a mountain stream on the side of the highway near Noranjito, about 20 miles southwest of San Juan. The following month, electricity and water returned to her home. Though she was still washing clothes by hand because Maria damaged the washer and dryer she kept outside on the patio. Today our top concern is the lack of revenue from her tour business and darkening moods of Puerto Ricans. She lives in a small concrete home in Tar Alta, about 20 miles west of San Juan, with seven other family members. It's a luck, yo. Her two grown daughters... Her twelve year old son and four grandchildren I have a lot of a lot of mouths to feed, Rebellio said. A tour company, Aventura Total, relies on young Puerto Ricans and foreigners wanting to take trips and kayak in their uh cool Culebra Island or hiking in El Yunku National Res- National Forest. But many people are leaving Puerto Rico in the wake of the storm and foreigners are still hesitant to visit, she said, where she would organise trips of 15 or 16 people everywhere and every other week before Maria. Today she averages about 6 or 7 people and sometimes none, she said. Okay, so... I mean, uh, you know, you can read the article. I'm I'm just going to... Head into the scriptures now and delve into these points. So the first one I want to deal with is why you fucking silly doves, you you so called poor you Puerto Ricans, got fucked up in such a manner that you did, man. So this is um. When Ephraim spake trembling, he exalted himself in Israel, but when he offended in Baal, he but oh he died. Okay. Verse 2, and now they sin more and more and have made them molten images and their, of their silver and idols according to their own understanding. Excuse me. All of it, the work of the craftsmen. They, so, they say of them, let the men that sacrifice kiss the calves. Okay, so they, they, this is saying the calves going back into to the time of real bone, man. Or sorry, Jeroboam, when he basically sought a way to keep, you know, the the the, the house of Israel from going down into Judah and losing and basically losing his kingdom, he basically offered up the idols as their as their kings. He he, he exposed the secret love thing of, of the, the house of Israel or the Ephraimites, especially first and foremost, that they were joined onto e, uh, idols. This is, as it tells you. Ephraim is joined onto idols, leave, leave him alone. Lucy's paraphrasing. So basically, um, um, da, 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 da. yeah, man, they 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 are joined onto idols with all that. They they excuse me, man. The heavy idol worshippers, okay. Therefore, they shall be as a morning cloud and as an early dew that passeth away, as a chafe that is driven with the whirlwind out of the floor and as a smoke out of the chimney. Weren't, weren't that a hurricane or whirlwind that drove them as a ch- chafe out of the floor? That's what happened to them, man, because the Heavenly Father ordained it, man, because they're wicked, they're off. Yet I am the Lord thy power from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God before me, for there is no saver, bes- but there is no saver beside me. I didn't know thee in the wilderness and in the land of the great drought. Okay, so the Lord is showing you, look, man, I'm the only one. That's why you you so-called Puerto Ricans are going through all this madness you're going through because you are joined onto idols, man. You're idol worshipping. You're in the wrong doc. You're in the wrong doctrine, mate. You ain't doing the right thing, mate. Gonna have to turn on the fucking cockney because you're fucking off. All right, you guys are not right in the spirit. And the Lord's going to keep on going, going at you like this, in this manner, until the time of the end, until you get right, man. All right? Hosea 9 and 13. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place, 
All right, so the, the, the island of Puerto Rico is a pleasant place. That's why it was named Puerto Rico. Or in the English, when you translate the Spanish into the English, Porto is port and and uh, riches is, is basically rich. Rico is riches. So it's a port of riches, okay? That's why it's a pleasant land because of all the great wealth that's in, with the resources within that land. But Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. And that's talking about even though they have this beautiful land, they're sending them up into the the, the nation um, of America, okay? Which, funnily enough, the man that sanctified um, uh, Puerto Rico as an un, um, unincorporated state, um, unincorporated territory of America, to being the first t unincorporated territory of America, his name was, his first name was Joseph, funny enough, which the tribe of Ephraim is also known as the tribe of Joseph, as shown in the book of Revelations, the seventh chapter, but then you also get that understanding from Numbers 1 and 32, okay? So they, they're basically in the, you know, they sent their children forth onto Esau, okay? So that, and, and that's why they're dying over in America, okay? But then also that's why the Lord is, 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 is tearing them up in, back in their homeland because they're off. They ain't right in the spirit, man. That's it's a punishment from the Heavenly Father, okay? Them sending their, their children up into that land. So this is Hosea 13 and 16. Samaria shall be become desolate, for she have rebelled against her power. They shall fall by the sword, their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and the women shall and their women with child shall be ripped up. And that's going into the time of the conquistadors. Right, when they were getting taken out, wiped out. And this is happening right now as well, man. Because they're still dealing with they're still dealing with the conquistadors, being the Edomites. Right, but they just don't know that they're dealing with the devil, man. So with that, man, I pray you edify, shalom.